what that is like. This is apparently a new boutique. Hi everyone, this is Ada Lala waiting for a call from the Chanel um, sales associate which I spoke to a couple of days ago to see if the bag that I really, really want is going to come in. So she's supposed to give me a call today. She said they're getting a couple of them, but that's all about two or three of them. I'm going in now to see if they have my bag with the um, hardware I want. So hopefully they will. Just show the window before I go in. And I got my bag, yes. Got the one I wanted. Unfortunately, not a very, very good service in there, but I will more about that later but I'm happy I've got my bag and um, that's my Christmas present and my birthday present yes I have my Chanel bag so I am going to get it out and just have a look at it ooh la la just a shame it wasn't a better experience in the shop because they were very rude actually I've um, always felt that Louis Vuitton was um, made the shopping experience a lot more pleasant so I haven't been impressed with Chanel in Melbourne and haven't been impressed with Chanel in Brisbane which is a shame for the company so this is how it comes with the bow around or that's the way mine came I don't know if that's the way they normally come because this is my first Chanel bag so I'm just checking that she's put the right um, bag in because I did look at another one so I want to make sure I got the right bag after all that. Hi everyone this is Ada Lala waiting for a call it is 10 at night time. I've just come home with my Chanel. We've been out and I was going to do an unboxing. We're still um, at the Sofitel in Melbourne. I was going to do an unboxing when I got home, but I can't wait because I want to use the bag tomorrow when I go out. So I thought, why not do an unboxing now? I have taken the ribbon off and I've just put it back just to show you how it came. Okay, I got the big Chanel bag. Now, the story on this is that I had been after this particular bag for a couple of months now. I had looked at it probably about four times in the Brisbane store. It was a lot of money and I was trying to justify it. So my beautiful husband he has bought me this for an early Christmas present and um, an early birthday present because my birthday is early in the year but um, I was trying to decide between gold hardware and the silver hardware and it came down to I really wanted the gold hardware so in the Brisbane sp store there was no gold hardware bags left there was only silver so I had to wait um, and then they got a gold one in and because they had been quite rude to me the first time I looked at the bag I decided I wasn't going to buy it in the Brisbane store and I was going to buy it in the Melbourne store. So when I arrived in Melbourne the first day um, I actually went to the store to see if they had it and no they didn't have this bag in the gold hardware as well. I actually that was in uh, the new store in Flinders Lane um, it's a two-story um, store so it's brand new I think it opened the first of November and it is a beautiful store it's on two levels and it does have some antiques and it's got the clothes upstairs and the handbags and the perfumes so it is a very ooh la la store um, but they didn't have it but the lady was quite nice and she said that they were getting them in two days later on a Thursday I was there on Tuesday and she said she ring me so no call on Thursday waited around thinking well I'm not going to get my bag I'll have to order it in in the Brisbane store so check before we went out to dinner 
and it was in and I said to the lady, you know, I was waiting on this and the lady I got was so rude. Very rude is very disappointing because I'm a believer in service and especially with high end goods. The shopping should be um, the number one priority, the experience as well as the bag. But anyway, that's enough ranting and raving about it. I was very disappointed and all I can say is Louis Vuitton for me gives so much better service. But let's do the unboxing and as my husband said, the only reason he didn't walk out of there was he wanted me to have the bag. So let me show you what I bought. So unfortunately I am excited but it's taken the edge off it. Let me open this and the other reason I want to open it is I want to make sure that she's given me the right bag because they take it away and box it up so you're not seeing um, what they put in here. So it comes in this black bag with the word Chanel as you'd imagine. Feels like the right bag. So here we go. I got I think it's called the Grand Shopping Tote with the gold hardware. That's what I got. So I'll just take the gold. That's a polishing cloth apparently folded up in there. They gave me that. And here is the gold chain. So ooh la la. That's what I got. Now the reason I got this one is I think for my first Chanel bag, it's quite um, practical. I'm a tote girl. I prefer larger handbags. The other Chanel bags are beautiful, but I don't know how much use I get out of it. So this I figure I can use. It does have, it's quite light. It's got one pocket here, one part here zip in the middle to put maybe your wallet and your phone in and another part here and the other part I like here so I can put something in the back so that's what I got so very excited and very excited to show people but anyone if anyone else has had any bad experience with any luxury goods let me know especially Chanel because I'd like to know what your experience has been with Chanel it's just to me taking the edge of it. But anyway, everyone, thanks for subscribing and thanks for watching my videos. Don't forget everyone, Ada Love Style. See you again next time, bye. Don't forget everyone, Ada Love Style.